This is WOCA News Talk 1370. This is James Snyder inviting you to join me each Sunday morning at 9.30 for Sunday Joy on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. It is here at the studios. Let me uh, get the temperature for you because I know you need to know. You need to know the temperature. It's, it's part of your morning ritual. 66 degrees, and there is rain in the forecast. Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry Robin. How are y'all? Pretty good. Where are you right now? Uh, um, just get on I seventy five. And is it? It's not raining where you are, is it? Ah, uh, kind of. It's kind oh, of uh, oh, it is. fitting, as I call it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's about to come down. I mean, you can see it in the air. It's uh, hazy, foggy, kind of wet weather. Did you watch any sporting event last night on TV? Uh, yeah, just the Red Sox game. Oh, the Red Sox game. Okay, so the basketball wasn't I, a big I deal to you. I'm not into the. I'm not into the. Ba- I, I'm just. I don't like basketball very much. It takes a lot for me to watch a basketball game, and I was definitely not going to stay up to watch Kobe Bryant shoot. What? What did he shoot? Like 52 times or something? Uh, I have so. it here, and, and Tom knew it without having to look. But I have to 60 look. Sixty something. Or? Do, do you know what I wanted to ask you? The other day we had a lady on, and, and I, I, I'm all for equal pay. So don't anybody get on to me if it seems like I'm not because I am but in show business in entertainment in ticket sales types of things mm-hmm. like she was saying the female <clears throat> soccer players don't get as much as the male soccer players and I said well yeah but that's like saying yeah. you know a, a garage band doesn't make as much as Justin Bieber I mean yeah. I mean you have to you have to be pulling in the the sales I mean you have to sell the tickets exactly so I, I didn't I didn't think that was a good comparison you know, I, te- uh, teachers their, their to teachers. Issue is, is that, yeah, their their issue on the U.S. national soccer team between the men and the women is actually the per diem pay, not their actual game pay. Oh their, well, their so then, so then it would make it, sense. It, so it's a slightly different. Yeah, it's slightly different. Yeah, and it's well. How come she couldn't dramatic. articulate? I mean, in one word per diem. You you made me understand. Yeah, how come she yeah, couldn't? Because I, because people don't. Um, they, they'd rather just jump onto a, a the bigger issue than really going down and going. Hmm. Oh, okay, now I understand. Because because I've always so I've I've always thought when somebody said like a football player shouldn't make that much money or a sports figure, I always said, well, wait a minute, aren't they the ones pulling in all those fans? Aren't yeah. they the ones getting yeah, all that advertising I, revenue? Oh, I feel. Yeah, it, absolutely. And but but sometimes it's harder to drill down. And it's easier just to take the big picture. You read a headline and you don't actually read the article. So hmm. yeah. Well, anyway, today is yeah. um, National Dolphin Day, National X okay. Spouse Day, National Pan American Day, which I don't know what that is, National Pecan Day, National Reach as High as You Can Day, and my favorite, National There Are No Stupid Questions Day. <laughs> That's not true at all. That's what I say. That's what I say. So I have here some questions. In By the e- way, every time somebody says that, it's almost like a challenge. Yeah. Have you ever been into like one of those, uh, like a <laughs> seminar or a meeting or something? And like, oh, look, there are no stupid questions. Okay, well now, now it's on, buddy. Because uh, let, let's see just how dumb my questions can be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have here some. I'm pretty sure I have some stupid questions in my brain. <laughs> uh, there, there, there are some websites that people will go to just to have questions answered, and so we will approach this with the presumption that these people were seriously wanting to know, and then we will decide are these are these stupid questions or not. Mm-hmm. Are these stupid okay. questions? Okay, so we'll. Hey, we'll you, you, you know what? I always tell people you don't know what you don't know. So. Well, that's it. Go. That's it. And and maybe a little explaining would would help, right? right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Sure. So before we do that, how's the blood supply? Uh, actually, the blood supply uh, it, it's okay. So we we just need to continue to have people to come out and donate, and uh, we're in critical need of type O, and so you know just come out, do the gift of life, and donate blood. There you go. And be sure to thank the folks over at Penn Flooring and Palm Garden for making that announcement possible. They sponsor the segment we do with Galen each morning. Penn Flooring has some beautiful flooring. You've probably heard us say it before. Remodel your home and don't forget the floor. They've got over 25 years of helping people do that, and they can show you their samples and give you some ideas on what you can do. And, of course, they'll install it for you. They've got a showroom where you can get all your questions answered at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay-Williams Bridge here in Ocala, just a few blocks from Pine. It would be South Pine, Southwest Pine, whatever it is. Yeah. Pine Avenue. 
And then go to Palm Garden, not too far from where we broadcast here at the Paddock Mall. They have a beautiful facility for your skilled nursing care, your long-term care, your short-term care. You might have just a rehab need or, or perhaps respite for that yeah. for that loved one you've been taking care of, but you need a little you know TLC yourself mm -hmm. you know so that's okay I mean it's a beautiful facility they'll meet some really nice people and they've got a lot of great activities over there and, and of course a skilled nursing staff so go to Palm, Palm Garden and ask whatever questions you need answered and I'm sure they'll be able to answer them and give you a tour plus stay tuned because we'll be probably announcing a another chat at the garden event soon mm -hmm. I'm guessing yep just guessing Good. are you ready are we sure there are no dumb questions? Are we sure there are no dumb questions? Here's a question that was submitted by James Russells. It says the name. I'll, I'll tell you who it is. Okay, James Russells says, uh, I swallowed an ice cube whole, and I haven't pooped it out. I'm really scared. Is it stuck? That's an important question, Larry. That was just three, three months ago. Yeah. Oh boy! How do you answer yeah. that? I mean, what it hurts. Just, I mean, you know, it, it, it just works. Hurts. The first question, you know, the first thing on your list, I find so dramatically important because it's going to dictate the rest of this list. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're going today. All right. Well, uh, no, 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 no. Try to put, try to be, no, put yourself. No, no. no, try to put yourself I, I, on the I, other side of this. You're supposed I'm to answer sure this. I can on that one. I'm Dear not James, sure I can. okay, let me try. Dear James, <laughs> yeah, I, at first, at first we laughed at this. We apologize, <laughs> <laughs> but then we realized you really didn't know that ice is truly water, and mm -hmm. by the time it gets into your belly, it probably has melted. So it, it it won't be pooped out anytime. <laughs> there might be some discomfort along the way because you can just feel that lodging there, but. It'll it melt away. It's a pee -pee, no poo poo. So, so, you, so, so you treat it like it's not a dumb question, then you can answer it respectfully. Okay? Exactly. Fair enough, Larry. I don't think I didn't think I needed to answer it, but I'm glad you did. Well, that's it's the whole good. point here. The whole point here is to answer these questions. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. The next one is BMX for life. You're a much more patient. You're a much more patient person than I am. I am a patient person. Right. This is true. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should have seen Robin yesterday trying to argue on my behalf. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I will not Are you ready? recommend so that to anybody. There. Yeah. yeah, here's another Go question from, from BMX for Life. Is there a spell to become a mermaid that actually works? Ah. And then there's a, there's a detailed uh, explanation to the question. I would like to know if there is a spell available to become a mermaid, one that works. I'm asking uh -huh. people... Because they they don't say things like mermaids don't exist because I take it very seriously and I find it offensive. Please help me find a spell. Wow. By, by the way, I am also a witch. Okay. Is that oh, written by your friend? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know they're out there. I, I just don't personally have one of these spells. Uh, okay. I don't know, maybe you do. Well, here's my answer to Dear BMX for Life. The spell that you would need to do in order to become a mermaid is to drive or fly to Florida. There's a place called Wiki Wachi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a, good, that's a good point. The spell you would have to cast would be the spell that would convince the human resources person. <laughs> that's right. That you would be a good mermaid. If you can successfully cast that spell... Mm -hmm. You not only will be a mermaid, but you'll get paid to be a mermaid. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> By tax dollars. You, you, you know, yep. you could also go at it and, uh, you know, have them find a special, a special uh, rare <laughs> ingredient of the spell, you know. What do you mean? Like put like cocktail sauce and then, <laughs> you know. Okay, right. And then the, the flower yeah. of the jasmine yeah. tree that is only grown on the Mount Everest in the month of May on the third leap year of this open moon. Exactly. Like that. Exactly. You have to have that kind of a spell. All right, here's another one. Yeah. This is from Belize EBL. Belize EBL. Oh, I love Belize. You know that. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I believe I can fly. All right, hold on. we got to take a break. Oh, boy. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be right back. 
is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. More clouds and sun Thursday with a couple of showers and thunderstorms around during the afternoon and evening hours. The high 81 to 85 and mostly cloudy later Thursday night, low 64 to 68. For Friday variable cloudiness, there can be a couple of showers and strong thunderstorms around. The high 78 to 82. For Saturday, mostly cloudy with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm, high 76 to 80. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. Palm Garden wants to get to the heart of the matter. If you've been in the hospital as a cardiac patient, maybe you have a pacemaker or congestive heart failure or an arrhythmia, or perhaps you're a heart bypass patient, then consider Palm Garden as your rehab choice. With proven outcomes, second to none, Palm Garden fixes broken hearts. Call today at 854-6262. That's 854-6262. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. Have you heard of HyperDirectory? When looking for local businesses, go to Hyper.Directory. No need for triple W, no need for dot com, just Hyper.Directory. Connecting customers to local companies when it matters most. HyperDirectory is your local business directory partnered with the Ocala Chamber and Economic Partnership to bring you trusted local businesses. Keeping Ocala local. Use Hyper.Directory. No triple W, not even dot com, just Hyper.Directory. Connecting customers to businesses when it matters most. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. If you want to avoid getting ripped off and put more money in your pocket, then join me, Clark Howard, every weeknight at 6, right here on W-O-C-A, The Source. We are The Source. W-O-C-A. 18 minutes after 8 o'clock. That was pretty interesting. Off the air stuff. You and Tom were talking about Galen. Hmm. Oh, golf. Yeah, well, Dan's golf game is horrible. Um, you know, he, he gets mad every time <laughs> I miss that on the air. But it's just it's just deplorable. I got him lessons. I got him two sets of lessons, and then he doesn't doesn't actually use them. So. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, but he has yeah. fun doing it. You know, he's got a catch See, this, time. And, and I enjoy. This and is I, why I, I don't want to play. I enjoy this is playing fun. golf with him. I do, but you know, if you watch a swing too long, you'll go blind. Uh, but if you went, to, but but if you listen to the teacher Jim Beckett, who was one of the great golf teachers, right? Yeah, everybody, everybody seemed to agree, right? But his whole philosophy was just go have fun, don't worry about it. So mm-hmm. that's what that would be me. But then I would be worried about it because Tom and but and, and Tom and uh, Galen Galen wouldn't want to play with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> because I'd be no, horrible. No. Because and if, if they, you're, you really want to play, you really want to play on with somebody who's on the same level as you. Why? It's much more enjoyable. Well, you do. Maybe because, I don't. No, 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 no. Okay, let me let, let me put it into your to world, your world. Let's say we're jamming. We're we're, we're hey, It doesn't know. It's apples and oranges. You no, know, no. Out and I really suck and I can't yeah. I can play one chord. Right. That's awful. But do you want to play with me? No, because you're ruining the music. Okay. But how do how do you ruin okay, the game? So how is it? <laughs> because your game impacts my game. How? So if you're because if I'm having to help you and find your ball and <laughs> you're asking me stupid questions, <laughs> you know, I, it, it does. If I if if it takes you twelve shots to finish a hole and it takes me four, that's not enjoyable for me. Well, so then so then the Jim Beckett School of Golf. 
was teaching the wrong thing. Jim Beckett said, "Just go have fun," mm -hmm. and I said, "Well, that I kind of a, I, I think he's I, I think you're right. I, I think it is a wrong thing. You, you have to get better. That's how you enjoy playing golf is by improving and seeing improvement. Right. Doing the same thing over and over again is insanity. So what happens if you look at if, if you look at Dan's swing? What happens? You'll go blind. Okay. Yeah, you'll eventually right. go blind. So let me let me let me use that because I want to get back to the stupid questions because the next question is yeah. can I safely look at a photo on my phone of the sun? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a good question. Yeah. Uh, Can I look at a photo yeah. of the sun on my phone? <laughs> Isn't that something? I don't know. I haven't tried it, Larry. I don't have the courage, <laughs> the guts, or the, uh, you know, uh, to, to actually give that a shot. That was but, from Blee's you know, EBM. I, I don't know. Have you? Have you? I've looked at it. That? I've looked at a picture of the sun. Awful risky. <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> okay? Uh, <laughs> have you looked at it on your phone? It was it a high, you know, an I-6 phone or something? <laughs> yeah, high intensity. High definition, yeah, I mean, sorry. You know. Here's one, here's Hi. one. There you go, there you go. Here's one. We're going to Canada, and I'm bringing my camera, but I don't think yeah. I should bring it if there are no birds there. Are there any? Right. <laughs> no, I, it's a fair question. I mean, I, we know there are snowbirds, but they all leave Canada. <laughs> they come here. They come here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they drive slowly um, and erratically. So I, I think it's a fair question, okay. Larry. I, I, I don't know. I I think I've seen a bird, though, in Canada. <laughs> I, think I, have. It was I, I would Falls. assume there would be geese. I, 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 would, I would assume there would be geese, I would assume. Okay. Uh, the next question is actually... Are geese birds? Are geese birds? Geese are birds, yes. yes. Yeah, they're birds. You're yeah. sure? Is that... Is, sure? Yeah. I think that's a dumb Google question. That. I think that's mm -hmm. a dumb question. Yeah, we should probably, we should probably Google that. <laughs> hmm. Are geese birds? I thought birds. they were more like ducks. Ducks are birds, too. <laughs> yeah. Ducks are birds. Oh, now you just blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's another. Now, this is actually a very good question. And uh, going to say dolphins are fish. Now we're going to have a problem. <laughs> no, dolphins are not fish. Now I know that. Well, there is a dolphin See, that's a fish. Now we got a problem. There is a dolphin that's called a fish. I know. That's I, a mahi-mahi. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. But the one that's a mammal is not a go. fish. Right. All right. But but birds, geese, and, and ducks are birds. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> sure. And swans. I'm <laughs> absolutely yes. I'm absolutely sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not so sure a chihuahua is a dog, but. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that yeah, that's that looks more like a cat. I'm not so sure what that is. That looks like a rat to me. All right. Now, this is the next one's actually a great question. I know that there are autographs of Babe Ruth and John Lennon, and even George yeah. Washington. But are there any of Jesus sure. Christ? Are there any autographs of Jesus Christ? See, that's a no. That is a good question. I think that's a good question. <clears throat> that's a very good question. Okay, dear Arthur, I don't know. What's the answer? I don't know. <laughs> and that's a good answer. It's a good answer. We uh, use that answer all the time. There you go. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that's actually not a stupid question. No, that's think, not. I mean, I think it's legitimate. Yeah. It is. I mean, we think we have a shroud that people can't even agree on. Can you imagine that if there was like an autograph of Jesus, people would be arguing over that? Oh, my gosh. That sure would be. Wow. Now here's a question. Yeah. Now, this one at first looks like a weird question. Maybe but that's why there isn't one. Yes. God is smart. Okay. Here's the question. It says, how can I be sure... That I am the real mother of my child. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. My question for that is, is, do they think somebody switched them at birth? Yeah, that would be a, qu a good question, yes. I, I, let's be honest. As parents, we've all had those moments where we look at our child and go, there's no way that child is mine. Because they do something so extraordinary, yeah. or they do something so ridiculously stupid, <laughs> <laughs> and you look at them and they go, "There's no why, there's no way you're a product of my loin." <laughs> this is what she writes. She writes, "I just, I, I, I had a baby, I had a baby, and it looks more like the man I had my baby with. It doesn't look like me at all, and I'm scared that he was cheating on me with another lady, and I had her kid." Are you, <laughs> are you kidding me? That's really what it says. That's Destiny. Now that's, that now Destiny that's. Wrote that yes yeah that's that's not stupid maybe, maybe that's more ignorant <laughs> than stupid. all right um right I, I think that's just more ignorant yeah this one doesn't okay. have a name this one doesn't have it why does my cat vibrate her chest always cat? the cat why does my cat vibrate her chest always vibrates like she has worms or something inside of her is that normal <laughs> oh my god oh my god 
<laughs> it's just the way she's that built. She's talking about purring. And purring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vibrate. <laughs> I got nothing for that, Larry. Yeah. I can't help you there. I'm I, fine. I can touch so that, but I'm not going to. the mama gonna... who doesn't think the baby's hers. I, I'm <laughs> yeah. going to be honest with you. <laughs> not going to touch that. brought that home. How come when right. I push one minute and then one minute again on my microwave, it goes to two minutes? But when I put 60 seconds and 60 seconds again, I get one minute and 20 seconds. Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely a fair question. <laughs> that's a good question, yeah. Good question. I've actually seen, I think that's been like viral before. Has it? Was it? on Facebook, I think I saw okay. that. Yeah. All right, I'm five foot five inches tall. I weigh 220 yeah. pounds and I'm 26 years old. My 14, my 14 year old daughter is embarrassed to be around me. Can I yeah. lose weight by rubbing my stomach? <laughs> Wow. Now I understand why they have a She's problem. She's got a problem. <laughs> Tom's cracking five, up in there. He said 5'5", 220, right? 5'5", 220? 5'5", 220, yeah. Oh, there's yeah. Tom. Yeah. Tom, yeah. Tom. Tom's rubbing his stomach. He's trying to lose weight. Here's another. Tom's like 5'6", 210. <laughs> Here's another question. Well, he's uh, doing good, He's going to run into the studio now. and, and, and He looks yeah, good. Make sure you lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks good. Uh, all right, here's another one. Uh, I know this sounds crazy. This is from Gwen N. Gwen N. I know this sounds crazy, but husbands usually have their own smell. Lately, yeah. lately he's had to work a few times late, and he comes home and his gas has smelled very different. Can I tell by the smell of my husband's gas if he has been cheating? <laughs> I'll say yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll say yes. Yes. If it comes yes. out full of glitter and perfume, <laughs> it's not a problem. I'll say yes, because you might be eating differently. You might be, you know, ingesting different things. Well, how do you know he's not just stopping oh, off at the... Well, wait a second. Wait he's a second. working late. Uh, uh, wait a second. Uh, I, mean, is it, I mean, how often do you have to fart in order for this to become an issue? That doesn't smell normal. Yeah. That doesn't smell the way you normally wow. smell. I mean, my wife has asked me what I what died inside <laughs> of me before. But, um, goodness gracious. My cousin, Can you imagine if, you, if she did think that was true, she chased him around and, <laughs> I'm going to catch you farting. That's right. You can't, you can't, you can't hide it from me, buddy. I'm going to catch you. What happens? <laughs> I can't is, hold that gas in forever. <laughs> here's from Franchelle. Franchelle wants to know. Can I paint my Michelle. teeth white with nail polish, or will oh. it will it hurt my teeth? Oh, okay. yeah. I, 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 well, it's got a <laughs> nail like in it, so it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? Franchelle. 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 Yeah. <laughs> sure, Franchelle. Knock yeah. yourself out. Yeah, that, <laughs> that seems like a question from a friend. Don't bother with toothpaste or a dentist. <laughs> Just go straight to the, tooth, to the, to the nail polish. <laughs> Claire all knows. You should write in there. Well, teeth and nails are made of the same substance, so why not? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Maybelline knows all those high fashion yeah. things uh, that's not true is by the way the, people I was just making a joke this, this, is, <laughs> this is from Ponder, <laughs> si Ponder 67 right Galen Ponder 67 writes how do I test yeah. to see if my turtle is gay <laughs> uh, well yeah. first yeah. how do you tell the sex of a turtle that's, yeah. he's got to well, come over that hurdle know, I, 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 I love turtles I'm pro turtle, and and I'm feeling bad for this guy's <laughs> turtle right now, or this girl's turtle. And I think we need an intervention. Yeah, I think um, so. <laughs> did NASA invent thunderstorms to cover up the sound of space battles? This is from Robert. No doubt about it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Dear Robert, <laughs> sound, he's twelve. Dear Robert, the sound in space is kind of like uh, the, sound, the sound in space, but. But even though TV says otherwise, it's, it it might it amplifies it kind of like it does underwater. So they have to cover it up with thunderstorms. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's another one uh, from Maeve. That's one of those things that would be on that show, AM Overnight. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right, right. Uh, uh, Maeve wants to know, are skeletons real Maeve. or are they made up? Yeah. Ma Maeve, are skeletons real or are they made sure. up? Yeah. yeah. That's a good question. Your, I mean, they uh, are real. Going to your health class. <laughs> And finally, I mean, have you seen Scooby Doo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> finally, Matt Peace wants to know how big yeah. is the Pacific Ocean? 
specific. Well, yeah, the specific. It's a, it's, it's, it's a specific size. <laughs> it's forty-two point three nine kilometers square inch. Oh yeah, yeah. Kenley, where's the Budmobile? Budmobile today is at the Winn Dixie and Marriott Oaks. Oh, okay. And I do want to thank uh, I want to thank Closet Mate for the great drop they had yesterday. Thank you guys very, very much. Oh, congratulations, Closet Maid. Stepping up to the plate. Yeah. Blood donors. They're one of our oldest uh, group accounts, and we're, we're proud of, uh, of, of our relationship. So thank you guys. Good right. job. Have fun. We'll talk to you tomorrow, Galen. All right. Sounds good. Bye, all. Bye-bye. Fox News Radio, I'm Carmen Roberts. Police in Houston are questioning the suspect in the shooting of Deputy Constable Alden Clopton, who's in critical condition after being shot six times. He has a bullet lodged near his heart, and they're trying to uh, address the abdominal area first, and then they will, uh, at some point, work on that area. Texas Constable Spokesman Lieutenant Holland Jones. Russia says yet that its attack just did not buzz a U.S. Navy destroyer in the Baltic Sea, as the U.S. maintains. And the Golden State Warriors go into the record books with the most wins in a regular NBA season. I just told our guys I'd never in a million